Hello and a huge welcome back to Dad's Shed. And I must admit, I'm really pleased to be back in here and back down this end and actually doing something productive. What I'm doing here today, this you may recognize if you've seen a previous video where I was boring out the 30 International Taper at the nose end of the spindle for my new vertical head for the milling machine. What I'm doing now is I've put in the four jaw a 30 international taper adapter for a two Morse taper drill. And the reason I've done that is I've set the 30 international taper up so that it's running completely concentrically. I've now pushed the 30 international taper in the spindle onto that adapter and I'm holding it in place with the tailstock chuck but because I'm not 100% certain exactly how accurately the spindle has been drilled to take uh, the drawbar I'm not putting the taper into the hole all, all I've got is a flat plate on the end here that's just holding it in place so the whole thing is located on the 30 international taper that's held accurately in, in the four jaw so in theory in theory if this is rotating accurately then to do the final turning on here this is also going to be accurate to the bore so what I've got to do now is to take this last piece down here and make a couple of cuts to take that down effectively to that size, which is 55 millimeters, which is the interior bore of the lower bearing. So I'm now going to do a little bit of work on here. Before I do, I'll do a quick swap. to my safety glasses and get rid of these and they can just go put over there so the only thing holding this on is friction of the interior bore and the 30 international adapter so I'm going to be taking fairly light cuts on this to take it down. In fact, I will take some light cuts once I've gone and turned the power on. Sixty-eight point one, thirteen point one to go. Right, so let's. Move that a little bit. Let's go down to 
Okay, let's see where we are. Fifty six point six four, so that's one point six five to come off, one point six four to come off. Right, one to come off. Okay, let's do a couple more checks. That's going to sit there, and that will sit there, so that's good. And that will go in there, so that's good. I'm going to just take that back a shade, actually. A bit more to go on that. So I'll take this bit down a, sh a little bit more to give myself good clearance inside behind the bearing so I don't want it to touch anything in there what I will do though I'll be vaguely sensible about this and I'll shift my stop
for that. So that I can't cut down into the surface I've already finished.
Right. So we'll just put a couple of small bevels on there just to ease the corners. That's all turned down, taking the tailstock away. This is now only held up by the fact it's pushed hard onto the 30 International taper, which is a non-stick taper, I should point out. Um, but it's obviously a little bit sticky here, which I'm quite grateful for. Now, let's just try this. And that is just, just about trying to fit on. So I'm not going to push it any further, but that is going to be a tight push fit into place. And that will fit over there quite nicely with a little bit of persuasion. So that's good. So there's my seal. Bearing goes on. I am a happy daddy. Now it's on to the next bit. But that is the spindle effectively done. I need to put a small keyway in here and then thread the end of it um, to take the lock. And then we should be about right about there. Good. Well, thanks for watching, and I do hope you've all enjoyed your visit to Dad's Shed today. If you have, please comment and hit the like button. And if you hit subscribe, you'll be advised of the future activities here in Dad's Shed. Mm -hmm.